I'm really excited because I've got a Blackmagic Decklink card arriving and I'm going to use it to upgrade this machine and turn it into a virtual production powerhouse. Now while I wait for the delivery I'm not just going to be staring at the letterbox like some lost puppy. I need to open this computer up already. It needs a power supply upgrade. So I'm upgrading from a 750 watt to a 1000 watt power supply and that should have enough juice to run the 3080 and the Blackmagic Decklink. We removed the old PSU unit and installed the new one. Now that it's all plugged in, it's time to test it. Here we go. That said no. It would help if I turned it on. So why a Blackmagic Decklink? Well, so far this virtual production setup has used an anti-latency tracking system. The dot goes on the camera and tells Unreal where the camera is in physical space. Then the video signal feeding into Unreal via the Camlink 4K. Now this device is great because Unreal Engine recognizes it and it's pretty low cost, but it does have lag. So unfortunately when you're doing live tracking, the video signal is late, whereas the tracking data is going in pretty much instantaneously. And that's why I'm hoping that the Blackmagic Decklink card is going to solve this problem and bring the video signal and the tracking data into perfect sync with each other. So let's get the Blackmagic Decklink 4K Extreme 12G working. I've got the box in front of me, it's a lot to remember. So the first thing I know I need is Blackmagic Desktop Video for Windows. So I've just gone to the support center and downloaded that. So the device is currently not being found by the Blackmagic Video software. I've tried a few things, opened the computer up, I've been all over the inside of this thing again. Off to the forums. We have a solution. It's just not the solution I was hoping for. So here it is. The motherboard I have has a few PCIe slots. One of them is a 16X size and it has 16 lanes. This is for the graphics card because I'm using a 3080 and it needs all of those lanes. The other one is a 16 size slot but it's only got four lanes. So when I plug in the deck link, it can draw power, but can't transfer data fast enough, which is why it doesn't show in Device Manager. So what that means is upgrading the motherboard so that I can get different PCIe slots. Unfortunately for me, upgrading the motherboard, it, it means getting a new computer. <laughs> this became a really expensive experiment. So before I crossed the hurdle of new computer, I still want to verify that the Decklink card does in fact function. Enter the GeForce 1030. <laughs> this is the only graphics card that I can find that runs in a four lane slot. So we're going to do a little test. We're going to take out the 3080 and replace it with a 1030. And then we're going to put the Decklink into the slot where the 3080 was. Then we're going to verify that it works. Then I'm going to buy a new computer. Blackmagic Decklink 4K Extreme 12G. I need a new computer. I really, really hope that I haven't miswired something in here because this is the first time I've done it. A little nervous about turning it on, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything is connected up, I think. So the next step is to just turn the computer on and hope it doesn't explode. Cool, I mean, it's definitely doing something and I am getting a message on the computer screen now as well. I can proceed, get Windows installed and eventually I'll have a deck link. <laughs> oh my God, this is uh, just taking forever, hasn't it? It's been a long time coming, but the deck link is now functioning inside the computer, the new computer. And you can see when I open desktop video, I'm getting video signal in 1080i from SDI. I'm using a Blackmagic rather than the camera that I'm on right now because my Panasonic has pretty terrible latency for video, even with the deck link. So using a Blackmagic camera, I'm getting really quite a good result. In Unreal, I have got video coming in. So in Composure, I've got a media plate. I've already keyed that out. That's why we're getting a kind of black background. So if I stand in front of the Blackmagic camera, you can now see Behind me is my desert. So I'm also piping out from Unreal the final composite, the viewport of this tracked camera onto the Ninja just here. On a real shoot, I'd be able to mount this on the camera and get a live feed. So the tracking signal I'm getting from anti-latency, I'm piping that into LiveLink. In LiveLink, you can see I'm getting the signal through 
And initially I was probably getting about four frames of latency from the Blackmagic camera. But it's possible to make micro adjustments to that through LiveLink. Now I'm running at about 50 frames per second. So I've set an offset of 0.08 seconds. With that correction, I'm now getting almost completely synchronized tracking. Now I don't have a camera operator, so I'm just gonna dive behind this camera and move it around so you can see how the video matches up with the tracking. You can definitely see some equipment in the frame here and that just helps you get an idea of where the real world matches up with the virtual. Really starts to feel like it's knitting together into the environment. Now this is obviously a ton of information and clearly not a tutorial, but I do plan on doing this as an actual tutorial on the channel really soon. So subscribe for that and thanks for joining me on this wild ride. I'll see you on the next one.